Hi, this is Deb from Deb's Day's Designs, and I'm back today with another Halloween project. Today we're making two different projects. We'll be making a set of bat coasters from Fabric and Batting, and then we'll be adding some additional fabric to make a flying bat bunting. So you'll find these are super simple projects to decorate your home for Halloween. You could even use the bunting as a reusable decoration you can hang up for your trick-or-treaters. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at devsdays.com. That's where you'll find plenty more sewing and crafting projects. And if you're looking for a printable version of this project with step-by-step -step written directions, color photos, and the printable bat templates, you can find it in my Etsy shop, Deb's Days Designs. I've added links in the description below this video. All right, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies for this project, you'll need cotton fabric, cotton batting, pinking shears or a pinking blade. If you're making the bunting, you'll need some additional fabric for the hanging ribbon. And you'll need the printable bat templates. First, place the bat fabric with the right side of the fabric facing down. On top, place a layer of batting and align it with the shorter end of the fabric. If you want a thicker coaster, you can add a second layer of cotton batting. Fold the other half of the fabric over on top of the batting with the right side of the fabric facing up. Cut out the templates and arrange four bat templates on the fabric at least half an inch to an inch from the fabric's edge and from each other and pin those in place. Rough cut around the templates. Then stitch each bat by sewing around the outside of the template very close to the edge of the paper. Then use your pinking shears to trim a quarter inch to half an inch outside the stitching line of all your bats. Make sure you use extra caution when cutting those inside points. Now if you were making coasters, you're completely finished with your project. Now if you'd like to make the bunting, you would follow the exact same steps, except you'd be adding some additional fabrics for some extra bats. And then of course we need to make the hanging ribbon. To make the hanging ribbon, cut your fabric into three inch strips and sew them together to make one long strip. Fold both short ends of the strip under half an inch and press them. Fold the strip in half lengthwise with the wrong sides of the fabric facing each other. Press to make a crease and open it back up. Fold one side to the midpoint crease and press it. Fold the other side to the midpoint crease and press it. Fold the entire piece over and press it. Top stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edges all the way around and across the hanging ribbon. Place the bats along that hanging strip, spacing them and arranging them as desired. Consider attaching the bats in different positions from their wings, heads, their tails, for a more varied look. Then secure them in place by stitching them onto the hanging strip. And just like that, just that fast, you have two separate bat-themed projects for Halloween. If you'd like to see more projects like this one, check out some of my other sewing and crafting tutorials and patterns. You can find them on my YouTube channel, at the blog at debsdays.com, or in my Etsy shop, Debs Days Designs. See you next time with another project.